Next tonight, a state trooper is facing manslaughter charges accused of shooting and killing a man in Buffalo early last year. That shooting all captured on police body camera. It has been more than a year since the New York Attorney General's office released this video from the February 2022 encounter. AG Letitia James says a trooper shot James Huber after the Pennsylvania man led police on a chase. Our Michael Schwartz has the details. These are the final seconds of a chase that ended with the driver of that tan car dead and the trooper holding the gun now charged with manslaughter. On Monday, the state attorney general's office indicted veteran New York State Trooper Anthony Nigro IV, charging him with the intent to cause physical injury by shooting the driver, James Huber. <laughs> Just after 11 a.m. on February 12, 2022, Trooper Nigro IV was chasing James Huber, who state police say was driving erratically on Interstate 90. The high-speed chase ends more than 10 minutes later in downtown Buffalo. I get, the get out! Get out! Trooper Nigro gets out of his car at the intersection of East Eagle and Washington with his gun drawn. Nigro asks Huber to get out nine times in nine seconds, but Huber, with his hand on the shift, refuses. Trooper Nigro fires two shots and falls backwards. <laughs> Huber's car goes in reverse <laughs> and crashes into the garage ramp of the M&T building, flipping on its side. Nigro approaches Huber's vehicle. Shots fired. Is that an ambulance? And knocks on the windshield. According to Huber's obituary, the 38-year-old was married with four children. He was born in Buffalo, but lived 75 miles away in northeast Pennsylvania at the time of his death. The New York State Attorney General's office says Huber was unarmed. Driver's been hit. I'm fine. On Monday, 16 months after the shooting, Trooper Nigro IV was indicted and arraigned in Erie County Supreme Court on manslaughter charges and is facing 25 years in prison if convicted. He pled not guilty and was released on his own recognizance. Michael Schwartz, 7 News Buffalo.